House Democrats claim white nationalism poses a major security threat during today's hearings on Capitol Hill. When America's Christian Rose has more on that debate. Members of Congress debate the rise of the so-called white nationalism and hate speech in the U.S. During a House Judiciary Committee hearing Tuesday, lawmakers urged a condemnation of reported hate groups in response to the deadly mosque shootings in New Zealand last month. Democrat congressmen claimed white nationalism is a major threat to U.S. national security. I will say now that it appears that federal law enforcement agencies have not taken the deadly and increasing dangers posed by white nationalist hate groups as seriously as foreign terrorist threats. The hearing was attended by DHS officials, tech executives and political commentators. During the debates, Democrat allegations of dangerous white extremism appeared to be falling apart, as several officials and activists pointed to far more serious problems America is facing. These include political Islam, far-left terror and attempts to crack down on free speech. We're not talking enough about political hatred in this country. We're not talking enough about conservative activists being attacked like myself. Uh, we had a student whose dorm was set on fire uh, for being a member of the Turning Point chapter. And all we preach is for free markets and capitalism as, as a means to lift the most people out of poverty. That is my belief. And of course, my main thesis is that black people do not have to be Democrats. We are not owned by the left. And I understand that that causes some people trouble. Meanwhile, Georgia Congressman Doug Collins said white supremacy is problematic, but Democrats are playing identity politics when talking about racism and related issues. Collins said the hearing is yet another Democrat attempt to paint Republicans and conservatives as sympathizing with hate groups. This after President Trump revealed what he believes is the true scale of white racism in the U.S. I don't really. I think it's a uh, small group of people that have very, very serious problems, I guess. Meanwhile, executives from Facebook and Google pledged to crack down on the white supremacist hate speech online. The statement triggered a harsh reaction, with Republicans asking why wouldn't tech giants crack down on other forms of hate speech, including far-left incitement, anti-white radicalism and Islamic propaganda. Congressman Louis Gormert of Texas said Islamic groups are calling for beheadings of Americans every day, yet Internet giants opt to shadow ban conservative speakers. Here you have someone that's calling, we crush the United States under our feet, etc. That was reported and within a minute uh, the report came back from Instagram uh, that there's no problem here basically. If you're going to enforce these standards, why are they so quickly enforced uh, and erroneously enforced against people like my friends Diamond and Silk? The hearings were subsequently described as inconclusive, raising questions of what white nationalism is. Some say Democrat arguments focusing exclusively on race could stir more division and discord in U.S. politics. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.